We sparking and rushing mad like inside the dark. Call me Bill Snatcher. Just the brother for the rapture. I hang lines, holding on strong, hard to capture. Extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant. And I react like a convict and start killing. It's manifesting. The gods work like appliances, dealing in my sacred life. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here and today we're going to be doing something that is different for the channel. This is going to be the second video that I'm going to be making that goes over the opening and ending. As you guys know who watched the first video, I covered the Boruto opening for Boruto opening 9. However, Boruto ending 17 is hands down the most heartbreaking of all the Boruto endings. So if you're new here and you're enjoying the content, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We cover Naruto content pretty much daily here on the channel from in-depth Naruto discussions that you find in the video essays to what ifs to episode reviews to lesser known lore to discussions that go a little bit more on the speculative side. So with that being said though, I am gonna warn anime only fans, come back to this video when you've seen Naruto's very on form in the anime because I cannot go in depth on all the hidden messages that are in this ending for Boruto ending 17 without talking about manga spoilers so if you're still here I'm assuming that you either don't care about spoilers or you're caught up on the manga so hands down Boruto ending 17 like I said before is the most heartbreaking of any Naruto ending that we've ever seen and we're gonna be doing this like I did the last time we're gonna be doing this pretty much top 10 style except for instead of counting down I'm actually just gonna go through these 1 through 13 because there's a lot of stuff to actually go over here so jumping right in number one we have Minato looking up at the Hokage monument which is foreshadowing to the burden of what the Hokage has or what I like to refer to as being the Hokage curse four out of the seven Hokage died while being Hokage Hashirama was stated to have died in data book one is directly stated that Hashirama died early on just when Konoha began to truly flourish after the event of the Hashirama versus Madara fight. I know Naruto Shippuden, there are fake subtitles saying that Hashirama died of natural causes. Again, those are fake subtitles. The official subtitles do not say that. Even more so when you look at other source materials that are out there, it's directly stated that one of Hashirama's last acts as Hokage was telling Tobirama to make sure that he treated the Uchiha clan correctly, which we all know kind of didn't happen. Tobirama obviously died during the first great ninja war when the kinkaku force ended up taking him down which included ginkaku and kinkaku then you had minato dying as the fourth hokage on the day that naruto was born then you had hiruzen die during the tuning exams being able to take up that mantle of hokage taking up that burden of being a leader a protector for a village means that ultimately there may come a moment where you end up giving your life in service of the actual village and minato looking up at it is obviously foreshadowing for the dark future that awaits Minato. Now, this is where we start getting some of the more heavier Easter eggs that kind of tie into Naruto's barrier on form. So first of all, you get the passage of time. So in this shot right here, we're going 34 years into the past where Boruto actually takes place right now. Naruto is 33 years old. We're going back to a year before Naruto is actually born in this shot. So this would be 34 years back into the past. Notice how on top of the mountain, you don't see the central business district where a lot of Konoha's actual residential non-shinobi actually live. That's because that actually Actually wasn't actually built until you got to the back end of Kakashi's run as Hokage and the start of Naruto's run as Hokage. That's when a lot of that business district got built because Naruto made a huge push as Hokage to actually have Konoha be the capital of the land of fire, which it previously was not. Now, right here at number three, we have more foreshadowing. Now, this I want you to look at right here. Notice the red fire burning in the cemetery, basically showing how the will of fire still burns. Well, this is also something that doubles in a symbolic way for Kurama, which I'll cover very soon, but that's everything else where you see everything in this dreary color setting, but that red really grabs your attention and it's that way of actually segueing into the actual heartbreak that you get in this actual opening. So from here on out, this is where you need to get your tissue boxes. Next, we have Minato and Kashina when Naruto's almost being born. You see Minato holding Kashina's hand as they're rubbing the mother's belly, signifying the transition into the Naruto Uzumaki era. That's one of the 
moments where you look at it and you realize that the end is actually coming for Minato because Sheena is very far along in this actual photo which means that Naruto's parents their lives are getting ready to come to an end now death is actually a huge constant in the actual ending and you see it with this major easter egg here naruto has a baby in krama's eyes now i want you to pay very close attention here look at the shape and look at where naruto's placed in the very center of krama's eyes and the shape almost doubles like a mother's womb when naruto is being conceived Kurama would have picked up on the chakra signature as Naruto's body began to form in Kashina, as his heart began to beat for the very first time, and in a weird way, because Kurama was Kashina's Jinchuriki, he was low-key carrying Naruto until birth as well, which does kind of explain why Kurama is so protective over Naruto as well, too. Now, going into number six, I want you to notice right here how Naruto is painting the face of Minato as the camera shifts, and you only see half of Naruto. Well, there's a few things here red is a reference to Kurama which has also been a constant in this ending with the color red being consistently the brightest color and oftentimes the only color that you see on the screen also this also signifies Naruto getting half of the QB by painting Minato's face specifically that alludes to that as well as the paint being splashed directly across the middle of the screen and this is basically the formative years of Naruto when Naruto is living with that burden of being a Jinchuriki and being old enough to realize that people hate him for something that he himself can actually control. Now, this next shot is one of the more heartbreaking shots. Naruto's seal being unlocked is an indirect reference to Baryon Mode, the true power of the QB being unleashed for this final time, and I'm going to explain to you how. So, it transitions over to Naruto as Hokage fist bumping Kurama, which we do know is actually Naruto because it's the sleeve of Hokage Naruto. Notice how, once again, the shape that Naruto is bumping takes on a cutoff oval shape, which is another reference to a mother's womb. Notice the red swirling inside of it, that's Kurama's chakra, basically Kurama's life force, which Baryon Mode itself actually eats up. That's why Kurama dies after using Baryon Mode. It's a reverse reference to Kurama seeing Naruto and Naruto being in Kurama's eyes like a baby in a mother's womb. In this instance, it's actually Naruto looking at that womb, kind of playing the same role of Minato, where Minato is holding Kashina's hand and he's rubbing that womb in this case Naruto is fist bumping Kurama where Kurama's actual life force is actually inside of him so it's a kind of a reverse nod right there but this is why this is so important so in this next shot both that odd oval shape and the actual chakra itself is gone Naruto's hand is reaching out showing that the Baryon mode is ended and the consequences are there because that's Naruto's connection to Kurama. Notice how he's reaching out into the empty void. That shows that Kurama's dead which is a very beautiful artistic shot right there because if you know what happens in the manga it's one of those things to where you know how heartbreaking of an actual scene that is right there and what that signifies because for the first time in Naruto's life that's a huge chunk in Naruto to where it's empty because Kurama was there from the very beginning. Kurama being gone is a huge part of him himself being gone. This is a different sort of pain than having to deal with the hate that the village has. This is a different sort of pain than being alone and going home to your actual apartment every day and nobody being there. This is for the first time Naruto without a huge chunk of himself. His parents didn't count because he didn't actually know his parents. Kurama had always been there inside of Naruto and once Naruto became aware of that connection that makes this so much more heartbreaking now this next shot right here we have the leaves on the ground and you have the withered tree with no leaves on the branch the tree on top of looking withered looks very sickly now the leaves on the ground show that this is a new season that has come just as a new season for Naruto has arrived one where Naruto's no longer a Jinchuriki. Another thing to keep in mind is that each year a tree forms new cells and that's where you get those rings on the actual tree. So those rings signify another year in that tree's life cycle. So on this tree here, we see a very old and withered tree. Kurama's been around for a very long time. Kurama just died. Do you see the symbolism in that? That's pretty hot right there when you look at it. The next shot that we get is a bright shot of the sky and this one has a lot of color in it now 
This also shows once again a new beginning for Naruto, but it's also a nod to Kurama's death in a way. Looking up at the clouds, looking up at the heavens, press F in the chat for Kurama, and that's that nod to Kurama passing on. Now, moving into number 11, the color in the ending becomes more deliberate and constant here. Notice the branch and the leaves growing in the cracks. That's a nod to what Naruto said to the five Kages earlier on in the Boruto anime, that he believes this new generation, specifically saying that this new generation are young tree buds that haven't actually begun to actually blossom yet. Now we see how after Naruto sacrificed Kurama to protect this new generation, Boruto in specific, Kurama's death in a way served as the actual nourishment that was needed for this new generation to actually blossom, is signaling that the next generation, their time to take over is here, it's a new set of leaves, it's a new set of will of fire, and it's Naruto doing the same thing that Tsunade did for Naruto, which is Tsunade bet on Naruto and made a long-term bet on Naruto. Naruto's doing the same thing for this new generation right here. Now, moving into number 12, we have Naruto looking up at his face on the Hokage Monument, carrying the same burden as his father. Notice how we see the leaves falling in the next shot as the very next thing that Naruto fought to protect. He sacrificed Kurama for the person who had been with Naruto since actual conception. Naruto is now looking over at his son. Notice the color of the leaves. It's red, just like Kurama, signifying that protection, signifying also how just as his father was sitting there rubbing on Kashina in that loving way, signifying his will to actually protect his unborn child. You also have another thing here to where, yes, that plays off with Naruto making that same commitment that Minato had, but those red leaves falling around Boruto, that's also that other nod to Kurama being the same way with Naruto. Just as Kurama was there, very aware of Naruto's actual conception inside of Kashina, Kurama, by being inside of Naruto, Kurama was also there when Boruto was born as well. Kurama falling around Boruto is that same signifying right there that Kurama is very much connected to Boruto as well. Now, when you get into number 13, this is going to be the final one, and we see Naruto exiting the screen, which is symbolic for Naruto himself beginning his exit as the main protector. That lines up with what you see in the manga, not just in the actual stuff that's going on now in the manga, where you see Naruto saying that he's going to directly oversee Boruto and Team 7 and Kawaki's training in conjunction with Konohamaru, but also... This is that turning point because if you go back to chapter one of the series, Boruto says that this is my story, the story of the boy who wanted to be Hokage. That story is done, but for the first part of my story, that guy plays a huge role in my story as well. Naruto exiting the stage is that start of that transition period to where we move from where Naruto is a huge part of Boruto's story to actually moving into Boruto's story himself. That's the heartbreaking part right there, is that essentially we're starting the process of where the time of Naruto Uzumaki has long since passed us. We're starting to move towards that transition period. This was hands down, probably one of the more touching, if not the most touching ending that we've had because of everything that it symbolizes and because of the actual impact of this. So I want to know from you guys, where does this actually rank in Naruto franchise endings in your opinion. Let me know down in the comment section below and let me know if you think that Kurama's death in the anime is going to be handled better than it was in the manga. But as so always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Have an awesome day, guys.